Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Um, I'm happy to be joined by Arindam Chatterjee from the uh, Dynamics AX R&D team. The topic that we're going to discuss in this video is security in AX 2012. Arindam, thanks for being here. Thank you. Um, as we get into security, I thought it'd be interesting for the folks who are viewing the video to learn a little bit about you and your background and your role on the AX R&D team. Sure. So uh, I'm Arindam Chatterjee. Um, I've been in Microsoft for uh, close to 13 years now uh, and about two years on this team. Uh, prior to joining this team, I was uh, in Windows security as a, as a developer on that team for um, quite a while, for about six or seven years. Um, and, uh, and now in this team for two years as a program manager uh, responsible for security, uh, amongst other things like server infrastructure, data access, uh, et cetera. So when, 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 it, when someone's going to hear the word security, again, there's, there's, a, there's a high degree of, of expectation that I use a product today, it, sure. it is secure. Sure. You know, and, and that's certainly a huge issue across technology today. Right. How have you guys thought about the issue of security in X2012? Like, how does it kind of render itself and how will it expo be exposed to in terms of a user accessing the system? Right. So uh, actually security, you know, the, the main issue has always been, uh, you know, it kind of starts with the developer, uh, you know, whoever's building the application. Uh, how are they building it? Have they really thought about their end users? And so we've started there, but at the same time, you know, uh, the feedback that we got from our customers was that it has been hard to, to do as well, to set it up, to maintain it. And so we've paid a lot of attention to, uh, to the administration experience, um, you know, how they do it, uh, how fast they can set it up, how high quality it is when they first set it up, uh, and then the ongoing maintenance of it. Uh, as people run into issues, how do they go about correcting it, mm -hmm. and how quickly they can do it. So that's been kind of the focus for uh, for uh, this release. So walk us through a little bit, because when we think of sure. security, we like to think of both uh, authentication from sure. a security standpoint sure. and authorization in sure. a security standpoint. Kind yeah. of walk us through those two areas in terms of what's in AX2012 regarded sure. security. So authentication is about uh, actually getting into the system. Mm -hmm. uh, are you allowing the right folks to get into the system? Uh, and so in this release, we have actually implemented a feature called uh, flexible authentication. Uh, for those of you familiar with, uh, you know, with past releases of AX, uh, would know that uh, you know only Active Directory users could be part of uh, or part of AX could use the ERP functionality in AX. Uh, that poses a problem sometimes as ca our customers growing out. Uh, they have vendors, they have customers, they want to expose their products to the web, uh, and it's not practical always to have all of those users, you know, thousands and thousands of users, customers maybe, mm -hmm. uh, to have Active Directory accounts. So we have enabled this feature called uh, flexible authentication, where you can now have uh, you know the, your customers' credentials stored in a completely different database. Mm. Uh, you could, uh, you know, in the vendor case, uh, perhaps the vendor company has uh, Active Directory federation services, and so you could now federate between your company and the uh, and the co vendor company, and that way manage the credentials that way. Uh, or you could use Live ID as, you know, in the consumer scenario, Live ID might be appropriate. Yeah. Uh, and so we have actually enabled uh, authentication through Live ID as well. So there's a lot of agility there for, yes. for and a lot of flexibility for the, for the customer to decide how they want to get people into the system. Absolutely. And as we have talked, you know, presented these features at our recent uh, you know, convergence conferences or other conferences, that has been very well received as yeah. well. So talk about auth uh, authorization then from a security standpoint. Sure. So once you have been authenticated, now you know they're valid users, mm -hmm. but you know, uh, do they have the right level of access to the right kind of data? Uh, you know, does the accountant have the right uh, permissions to the right tables around which can, you know, has all the financials data in it? And how we present it. So uh, that's been our focus. Uh, you know, uh, again, you know, b bulk of our effort in this release has gone into that. Mm -hmm. uh, it starts with a developer, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, so we have a whole bunch of tools for them uh, and some very automated features that uh, as they're building their application, uh, the ch table permissions are actually generated uh, for them. Mm. So uh, a lot of the nitty-gritty details of stuff is actually you know, taken away from the administrator. Mm -hmm. They don't lose control. Uh, they can still go and tweak things uh, as they wish to do, mm -hmm. but uh, the 90% scenario is taken care of uh, for them. Now, once they have done their, you know, the threat modeling and they figured out what are the different uh, roles, uh, user roles that are going to access their application, um, and they set it up through our tools, now the administration actually becomes a lot easier. Mm -hmm. So they can ship all their role definitions as part of the metadata, which is not something they could have done uh, in previous releases. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's all part of the model, uh, if you're familiar with models. Uh, you can transport them to your customer site or give it to your ISVs and partners to actually go and uh, customize as they seem fit, mm -hmm. and then deploy. And for the administrator, 
they now have a huge benefit because earlier they were always starting from scratch. Uh, they had to define exactly what they needed, which tables they need, uh, et cetera. Now they have a baseline to start with. Mm -hmm. um, the AX product, 2012 product, actually ships with about 85 uh, roles mm -hmm. uh, and all the different duties and privileges that, uh, that come with it. So they have a fantastic you know, baseline that they can take and start fine tuning as they see fit. I think that there's going to be a lot of uh, customers that we've talked to who are on very old, kind of uh, been on the same kind of uh, systems for quite some time, who are going to be shocked to, to see the flexibility in terms Absolutely. of how you set up users. Absolutely, that, yes. you know, there's, there's pretty well documented stories of it literally taking days in some cases mm -hmm. for users to get it set up. We're yes. Largely reducing this to you know a, a few steps really yeah, in a lot absolutely. of cases. It's absolutely. not that much of a stretch to say yeah. that. And and you know it's about you know reducing the workload while also preserving the control that they might want, right? So if you have spent hours and hours and days whatever in the past to really set up a secure environment and you're comfortable with it, mm -hmm. then you know we do have some best practices, some you know tools that we're working on to actually help you with the migration of that. You don't want to lose that investment, right. but uh, you know, we want you to be able to carry that forward. So and, yes, it is absolutely possible. And, and it sounds like the other kind of pivot on that is just what you were describing a bit, the fact that a lot of the, a lot of the workload for this has moved away from the hard-coded developer-centric approach, right. which did take a lot of time, to be right. much more flexible to the admin, who's yeah. the person more on the front lines with the end users. Yeah. And, and they get to manage security on the administrators. They get to manage security based on abstractions that they are comfortable with. Mm -hmm. um, AX as an application has become very rich, uh, very sophisticated, and a lot of different applications get built on it. So we have thousands of tables. Uh, so expecting an administrator in, in, a, in one company to really understand the intricacies of the application, the dependencies between all the tables, that was where the complexity was in the you know, uh, trial and error kind of approach mm -hmm. uh, was being taken in the past. We have taken it out of, they're not the people who need to do that. That's the developer's job. And so we have enabled the developers there. For the administrators, they get to manage security based on their terminology. So mm -hmm. they get to say, I'll give this user the ability to approve a sales order. Mm -hmm. um, in the past, approving a sales order would have meant the administrator digging through to fee see which tables they need to go and uh, give permissions to and how they really interact. If they give read permissions to one, what will happen to yeah. you know some other user who might also be accessing that table? So so that's really where uh, where the improvement has been. And and we think about this obviously with the the ecosystem of of Dynamics and Dynamics mm -hmm. AX, not just for our end customers but also our partners yep. and our ISVs who are going to be building applications on top of the platform. That's this right. is going to play a huge part in terms of how they configure what they ultimately sell absolutely. to their customers. Absolutely, and this is you know. All the, a lot of customers are going to ask for security. Uh, you know, it's becoming a requirement from a lot of the compliance regulations that the federal government or the individual governments are going to ask for. And so as they try to sell into those markets, uh, they will find that people are asking for it, and now we have the tools mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and the infrastructure in place to help them through um, uh, and make that, make that uh, value for their customers. Yeah. You know, uh, you mentioned at the beginning, just in describing a bit of your background, coming from the Windows team, and. And, and I guess the last thing I, I wanted to ha get your comments and insight on was, you know, we, we work on security, certainly within ERP, certainly within Dynamics, but this is obviously, a lot of people know, a huge priority for Microsoft just yeah. in general across Absolutely. the platform. And maybe yeah. you can just touch upon some of the, you know, the collaboration you've had with other teams to make sure we're, we're leveraging a lot of the best practices from other parts in the company to deliver a secure product right. as well. Right, and, and actually that, uh, it's great that you brought that up because the, the flexible, author, uh, you know, flexible authentication feature that uh, I uh, brought up earlier uh, is built upon some of the work that has gone on in, uh, in the SharePoint uh, uh, product. Uh, the SharePoint 14, which is a new one, uh, actually comes with a feature called Claims Aware Authentication, and uh, that's what we are leveraging. Mm. Uh, Live ID team has provided some support for us. Uh, Active Directory Federation Services is uh, some of the other products that, uh, that we leverage mm -hmm. very deeply. Uh, in addition to that, you know, one of the features on the authorization side uh, called uh, data security, extensible data security, this is about role level security, and that is something that we have actually worked with the SQL team as well. Um, you know, making sure that uh, you know whatever the approach that we are taking is something that uh, will scale, will perform, et cetera. So it, it has it has been the result of. Uh, you know, fair amount of collaboration with uh, other parts of Microsoft. Absolutely. Yeah, and I and I love that um, our customers will benefit from the collaboration that you guys have put yes, into it. and yeah. that's that's what we are. Uh, that's what our goal is. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Well, great. Well, thanks for being with us today. We're anxious for the product to come out, and uh, thanks for your time. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.